What is up? How y'all doing? I have an egg sandwich for a brunch. So I used to not eat egg and now I am. And I've just been craving a sandwich. So let's go ahead and eat up. If you guys, you know, haven't eaten, go ahead and grab a little snack. Make yourself some food. Eat with me because I have a little story time for you. It's about my car. I think I've already mentioned it to a few of you guys. Well, I went on live actually. If you guys haven't seen, I was on live on Instagram and on TikTok when my car basically, I needed to jump start and basically the whole situation about my car. So I'm hungry. Let me take a few bites and then we'll get on with the story time. But oh my gosh, this looks so good. I cut it in half too, just so like, you know, yeah, I could take easier bites, but look at that. Ooh. It looks so good. I don't know what fell. Whoops, it's probably an onion, but cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. What I have in my sandwich, of course, egg, ham, cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so good. I was really enjoying that bite. Lettuce, onion, mayo for the spread. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. But honestly, what I've been loving lately is egg, but I add oregano while I'm picking it. I don't know why, but it adds like a nice taste to it. And I really like it. So if you guys haven't tried it, I highly suggest it. It's really, really good. It just depends on how you like your spicy, you know? Not spicy, but like season, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> mm. You cannot forget your coffee love this it's hot coffee so i kind of already burnt myself from tasting it whoops i kind of did but it's so good so how it all started was basically i was at the beach it was after work and i wanted to chill whatever so i was just chilling you know enjoying the view enjoying the beach enjoying the sound not even a view because it was dark it was like nine o'clock ten mm. It was really, really cold, so like, I didn't really want to go out and walk around, so I was just chilling in my car and like enjoying the sounds with my window a little low, you know, and I was charging my phone because it was dying, and I was like, fuck. And so, while my phone was charging, on my other phone, I was watching a show while I was doing its thing, and <laughs> I knock out, bitch. I knock out in my fucking car, bitch. So whatever's, I knocked out. I woke up at a piente, this was already like... 12 o'clock at night and so hmm. and I was like okay time to head out because it's a little too late I'm tired let's let's fucking go I tried to turn on my car it didn't turn on it did not turn on and i was like fuck i knew this was gonna fucking happen i knew it right from the moment when i woke up i knew something was gonna fucking happen and it did and so whatever i called the insurance roadside assistance mind you i was there for four hours waiting for them to arrive they got there until 4 fucking 30 in the fucking morning bitch Oh, good thing I had blankets and all that stuff in my car. Like, I'm always prepared. Ew. There's always people around the area. People just go there to, like, do their thing, if you know what I mean. And a lady comes with her van, and she's with her daughter. And I was like, girl, I'm ass. Already an error because it was already a viejita. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what came to me. And so I asked her. Can you please help me jumpstart my car? Like, I am screwed. Like, I can't go anywhere. Like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah, 
cables and I was like, I have the cables. Let's go right ahead and connect them. We connect them right on her end. But on my end, we put the black and the red one on the same side as the red. You need a lead. So once we turned on the car, we didn't notice until a few minutes after the cables were burning off, bro. And I'm not joking. Like, just, okay, no. It was smoking. It was burning off i tried to move it and it was spark and i was like oh my gosh oh my gosh what do we do what do we do we, do? we turn off the cars we try to let it cool down and it had like a screwdriver or something so i was trying to just knock it off and eventually i did the grua comes finally and he jump starts it i did it yeah we're good i'm ready to go home i'm set i'm happy all right bye don't need you no more bye and so he did his job whatever right when i was about to go the shift gear won't move and I knew from that moment, I'm fucked. Because this isn't the first time that this has happened to the car. This is the second time. First time, we're out of the gas. Because my dumbass usually drives far away with empty. So that's not good. Don't do that. Learn my lesson. So I forgot what happened the first time. But I think we just swapped out the battery and it worked. This time, no joke, it was a hassle. I am a month in without my car still. Already getting it fixed but a month without my car. I miss my car. I want it back, okay? <sighs> I'm panicking. I'm annoyed. I am frustrated. I just, you know, like, I just can't. <sighs> I called the tow truck back and I was like, hey, I need my car towed. It won't move or anything. What do you mean? I just jump started it. It won't move or anything. All right. He hooked it up because he literally, like, told me to cancel the tow truck request just because they were going to charge me just $200 to tow my car from the beach to my house. And he only charged me 40 bucks. I gave him 50 instead because he told me 40 but I was like, here's 50 You know, like, I didn't have much cash that moment, okay? I would give him more, but anyways. He literally was like, what the fuck, that's really weird. And when I told him about the lady, he was like, you probably fucking, like, you broke, you burnt a fuse or something like that. And I'm like, Hopefully it's something minor, usually like that, if it's like a little fuse, like five, ten, twenty dollars, depending on what it is. Ends up getting my car towed all the way to my house. And at this point, I was like, okay, I could just need to get a diagnostic. I need to know what exactly it is, because I'm used to, you know, me getting car situations. Like, I already know the process. Let me take a bite. I haven't taken a bite in a minute. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I ended up calling literally from the day that I had my car towed to my house. I had five different mechanics look at it. Mobile ones. Yeah, exactly. And I got the same code. P1500. So I was like, all right, can you do it? And they're like, well, that's a thing. We need to exactly see what it is because it's just electrical. And I'm like, all right. So. All of these mechanics, no joke, dude, they said they were going to get back to me. They never did. I don't know why. But it kind of makes sense now because it is complicated from the issue that I, I found out what it was. So I'll get there. It's been a few weeks and I've just been so over it. I'm done. I call Pet Boys. I call all these type of mechanics. And I have the tow truck ready. I called my insurance to get it towed in whatever one that's going to respond to me and is able to do the work. No joke. All the ones that I called, they can't do the work. I took it to a Pet Boys. The first one I called, they say they don't work on that because they don't have a mechanic. The second one that I literally already physically, not physically, but the tow truck already took the car over there to Pet Boys. He just left it. Like the guy literally just left the car and I was talking to the guy and he was like, oh, we can't do the car here. So I was stranded with my fucking beat up car, not knowing what the fuck to do. So I was just really annoyed at this point. And eventually I was like, you know what? I'm over it. Everybody kept on telling me to just take it to the dealer. I didn't want to because of how much they fucking charge. I ended up taking it to the dealer. So I got it towed. It was 60 bucks for the tow. Not too bad. 195 for the diagnostic. But the diagnostic money would go towards the service if I do get it done. And so I got it done. They did the diagnostic. 
Um, it's already been, today's the what? It's the 4th of January and they finally texted me yesterday. The day that I dropped it off, it took them about four days because it was a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So about six days, actually. I would say five. Um, only because it was holidays. They didn't work for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. So they were off four days, I think. So anyways, they got to it and they said they found out the issue. I'm happy, but at the same time, you're going to see why I'm kind of like, <gasps> ugh. They said that this is shift gear. And I'm like, okay, we found the problem. Yes, like, all right, yes. Now, what's the price point? <sighs> no joke, y'all. Mmm, onion. Sandwich. So let me actually read the text real quick. It's like, good afternoon. Status update on your vehicle. Technician has concluded we need to start with replacing the shifter. Per tech, it's very common in these vehicles. Price for that is $1,915 with 48 cents. <gasps> Where the fuck am I going to shit out that money? So anyways. He said he would have to order the parts. It's going to take a few days. Let him know. At this point, I was like, fucking shit, man. Like, my heart dropped to my fucking asshole, bro. You know, I was like, hey, is there any kind of warranties for that part or any recalls for that certain part? Like, if it's common, then, like, should there be, like, kind of guaranteed or something, you know? And he said, if you paid for this repair, there is a two-year unlimited mile warranty on it and no recalls, unfortunately. And he's like, let me know so I could order the part. Like, he was really like, okay, like, hurry up, let me know, you know? And I was like, bitch, hold up. That's like 2K right there. Like, chill, fool. All right. So from there, I was like, hey, you know what? Can I actually go right ahead and get a breakdown of these expenses? And so he told me, just the part itself, just, just the part, 1221 Labor itself is 600 I get it. Taxes itself was $94.63. And that is including already the 195 diagnostic fee thingy or else it would have been 2000 something i'm pretty sure so i mean i just told him go for it it is what it is what else am i gonna be able to fucking do this is what happens when i don't take care of my cars simple as that mm. Mm. they're already working on it today would probably be the day they ordered it so probably by next week on friday hopefully that is when i'm gonna have the car you guys <laughs> don't get yourself a jeep renegade 2015 sport or don't even get any types of jeeps i guess or renegades or any cheap kind of i don't know i just got really fucked over with this car i've just always had bad luck with this car so cheers to that yay Mm. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. So hopefully you don't have bad luck like me.